Welcome to A Shot with Scott, who has lent me the chemistry table I've got set up right here to make you guys a spooky martini for Halloween, right? And by the way, I'm a flight attendant. That's my Halloween costume, just so everybody knows. All right, so this is a super easy martini. There are parts that you need to be cautious with, but there are three ingredients, and it's super tasty. Everybody will love it. You can even put it in a punch bowl if you wanted to, um, but I'm sure you need to like measure all this properly to do that, but whatever. So. We have a couple uh, items that we're going to use to make this martini. We're going to make two martinis right now. And first we have our shaker, okay? And we're gonna grab some regular ice, keyword there, first. Okay, put some in here. Slippery little buggers. Okay, get it nice and chilled. Nobody likes the semi-cold martini. Okay, I think that's good for our regular ice. So since we are making, two martinis. This normally calls for four ounces of blue carousel. So we're going to do eight. All right, first we'll get that going. All right. And eight, ta-da! And we'll be using our Crystal Head Vodka today. Super creepy, but awesome. Tastes delicious. Definitely is super heavy, feels like a real skull, kind of creepy, but hey, we're, we're running with it. Now, the regular recipe for just one calls for two ounces of vodka, so we're going to use four, okay? So we've got two, four, that one's a little baby in here for good luck, because we know you guys like to drink. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna set this skull down, okay? And we're gonna give it a little shake, shake, shake. Mm. Make sure that's on there good and tight. Woo! Got a little excited. Ooh, look at that pretty blue color. Yes, honey. I'm ready to drink right now. And the next ingredient, now, using dry ice, you must be very cautious because if you swallow dry ice, it might do very terrible things to your throat and your esophagus. I would highly, highly recommend against doing that. So when you use it in drinks, you need to actually let it dissolve completely, first and foremost, and then enjoy your cocktail. So we're gonna go, ready? Is everybody ready? And we'll put one in here. And you have your spooky martini. Enjoy.